Time last year, a Friday afternoon, devastation hit Arkansas. That's where we begin tonight at 5. I'm Rolly Hoyt. And I'm Faith Woodard. Since March 31st, 2023, stories of damage, recovery, and hope have come from many of our communities. And today, Governor Sarah Huckabee Sanders made stops across central Arkansas ahead of the anniversary. THV 11's McKaylin Johnson has this report. Here at New Commandment Church in Jacksonville, you can see the ongoing recovery for the March 31st tornado last year. Governor Sarah Sanders and community members met today talking of the hurt and healing they've seen the state go through. I'm so proud of the progress that we have been able to make since that Friday a year ago. Governor Sarah Sanders made stops at points hit by the March 31st tornado, like Pulaski County title off Cantrell. The governor reflected on the moments after the storm hit. In my office, we were making calls to emergency managers and our own families. Minutes and seconds after the tornado hit, Governor Sanders and I were on the phone, focused on the people of Little Rock and the people of Arkansas. According to Adam, within 24 hours of the disaster, Governor Sanders officially requested a presidential disaster declaration. Today, she says a sentiment from her father sat with her after the tornado. People first and the paperwork later. Continue to bless us in a mighty way. The governor also visited New Commandment Church in Jacksonville. March 31st was breathtaking. The congregation is led by Pastor Eddie Miller. He says last year's tragedy didn't spare their church. It was like going from the highest high to the lowest low because our church had just been paid off. But as they wait for the grand opening of their new church, he says it's important to reflect. To see where we are now, to know that God never left us. He only had something bigger planned for us. I don't think it's lost on anyone that the one year anniversary of last year's tornadoes falls on Easter Sunday. Governor Sanders says as recovery continues, support won't stop for our Kansans. Recovery is never easy. We will not stop supporting you until Little Rock and all of the other Arkansas communities are rebuilt. In Little Rock, McKaylin Johnson, THV 11 News. McKaylin, thank you. FEMA, state and local agencies report the damages to public infrastructure from the tornado range from 70 to $90 million. 347 loans totaling more than $21 million have gone to homeowners and renters, and 30 loans have been provided to businesses.